Okay, so on this one, I'm going to show you how to find the amplitude as well as the midline of a periodic function. Okay, so we've got this guy right here. We're going to do graph number one. And down here, we've got graph number two. Okay, so when we're trying to find the midline, that's the exact halfway point between my maximum and my minimum. So if I look on here, this is where all my minimum values are hitting. Um, this looks like it's going up in one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 da. so this is three. And up here is where the maximum is, which is five. So the absolute halfway point would have to be four throughout the entire graph. So the midline. is going to be y equals 4. Now, the reason why I'm saying that it's y equals 4 is because it is a horizontal line, and it is a line. So we must have either an x or a y equals in front of the value. Now, to find the amplitude, that actually is a little bit easier. Okay, We have a nice little formula that is available for you, which is that one half times your maximum minus your minimum. Okay, we know our maximum, that's five. We know our minimum, that's three. So we end up with one half of five minus three is two. So one half times two, well, that just becomes two over two, which is one. So my amplitude for graph number one would be one. Okay, so let's try this again with graph numero dos. Okay. So on graph number two, here's where my minimum is, and that's at negative two. My maximum is at positive 2. So the exact halfway point between 2 and negative 2 is, well, 0. Or the light pink is. So my midline for graph number 2, it's going to be y equals 0. Now let's find the amplitude. We have one half times the max minus the min, and one half times two minus a negative two. Well, 2 minus negative 2, that's 4. So 1 half of 4 is 2. So that would be our answer.